everybody in here, sitting in the tiny house, having my coffee. It's a little bit brisk, but it's going to warm up today. It's going to be like in the high 60s, so I don't know. I got the spring fever going on, so I think I'm going to work on some garden beds and um, see if I can get them kind of caged off or something, maybe. I got puppies back there, too. <laughs> They're being good right now. Papa's right next to me. Um... So I'm just going to finish my coffee, and then um, I've got some wood ash I can add to the garden beds. I've got some eggshells and some coffee grounds. So I'm going to go spread that around and see if I can find the materials to make, like, little cages so the puppies and chickens don't get in. I'm inside the shed, moving some stuff around and cleaning some stuff up, and it looks like I found Mama's new nest because I haven't seen eggs from her in a few days. So here, look at this. Up here in this corner on these little bags you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give her some bedding if she wants to lay up here that's just fine with me I just need to remember to come and check it I think that makes a mighty fine nest I took the garbage bags out because I actually need to use those and just fill it up with some leaves and some straw I went ahead and put those two back down in there they couldn't be older than a couple days old but I want her to come back here and you know just kind of go to her happy place if she so chooses there's all the wood I split up and stacked up. The driest is out here in the front, and I've just left it uncovered for the last few days because it's it hasn't been raining, and I figure, you know, maybe out in this air, it'll dry out. Um, I'm not going to store wood outside here anymore because it's just not a very good place to store it, and my tarps are all tore up. So the day before it starts raining, I'm going to take this all into the shed and stack it up in there. It's kind of funny because I've just been like going from one thing to another. I see a piece of trash that needs to be picked up and I'm picking it up and hauling it all out back behind the shed on the junk pile. Um, I meant to work on the garden beds, but then I looked at the garden beds and I'm like, gosh, that whole area looks just really super bad. So I've removed all of the cardboard and anything that's blocking, <laughs> you know, anything. Because I want, oh, i got to get some more cardboard over there, take it to the dump, uh, to the trash heap. I want the puppies to be able to, you know, the, all of the dogs to be able to go and hang out underneath. They love to do it anyhow. And, oh, oh, there's a frog. Can you see? Oh, it's trying to get away. <laughs> Hopefully you get away quickly enough. So the chickens don't need to anyhow. Um, yeah, and I just keep buckets lined up here. Um, it's good for capturing water for the chickens and then for eventually the garden beds. But, um, and then I put bricks down just because I don't have gutters up yet. Sorry, I'm panning so fast. So I just put stuff down there because I don't want it to get super duper bad rutted. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, the garden beds, I've been working on them. Um, I put a wood ash from the fire pit in this one. Uh, it needs more dirt in it. This one needs more dirt in it. And I've also been working on this one a little bit. You see I've got it covered because the chickens and the puppies just get in there and they dig, dig, dig. So that's from the wood burning stove. I'm going to scatter that like here and a little bit over there. And then I've got the garden bed over there. It's already got wood ash in it. Um, I am going to go ahead and grow in this because it's a nice sized tub. And I figure I can get something to grow in there. I mean, the cucumbers grew pretty well in there. Anyhow, so... I just got distracted doing stuff and I just wanted to clean up this area. It still needs to be cleaned up a whole lot more, but it is starting to look better. At least I don't have the boxes down there. I've been saving coffee grounds and I've got quite a bit of them, so I'm just going to go around to the various little garden beds that I have and just sprinkle some down in there and kind of mix it around a little bit. I think that's enough for now. Yeah, I did add a little bit more soil to this. Might need a little bit more, it tends to kind of pack down, but just kind of mixing this up a little bit. I love playing in the dirt, I really, really do. Uh, so, I just need to get some eggshells and kind of work them into it as well. Great, I knew that was going to happen. Come on chickens, I gave you some over there. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of work this in a little bit. Hopefully I can get this all covered up before the chickens try and eat it all. This garden bed is just about done, at least for today. I'll add some more stuff to it eventually. But, I don't know, maybe, maybe this will work a little bit better this year. 
Here's this garden bed. You may notice I've made it quite a bit smaller just because I wanted to be able to get the wagon in and out of here without any problems and it's big enough the way that it is for right now for my purposes. So now I just need to kind of work this all into the soil so the chickens don't come and eat up all the eggshells. I think that's good enough for now. Um, like I said with the other one I am going to mound it up with some more dirt but I need to find some chicken fencing and some stakes and kind of just section this off hopefully. I just put up four stakes in the corner <laughs> and slapped some chicken wire around it. I didn't want to secure it super duper, you know, secure because when I'm in here planting and weeding and doing stuff, I want to be able to pick this up and move it, just basically pull it out. I mean, it's just kind of connected over here. Here's a little door. All I have to do is pull that off and um, then I can get in and work in the garden bed. So I don't know what's going to be planted here. I need to work this one up a little bit better, but... I don't know. I don't know if it'll keep the puppies out. Hopefully it'll make them, you know, kind of stop and think for a minute. But who knows? They're like bulls in a china shop. So, and finally this one. I added some more dirt to it too. Yeah, it's got coffee grounds and all that kind of stuff in it. And I just kind of wrapped a little bit of chicken wire around it because I had it. I didn't have quite enough, so I just had to kind of add some of this. Yes, the puppies will get through there um, if they want to, but hopefully... Oh no, hopefully they won't want to. Um, there's nothing planted in, well, there's some walking onions and there's some garlic chives in there somewhere, but the soil is really, really rich. So for right now, I'm just gonna put this over the top of this, at least the puppies, hopefully they won't get in and dig and the chickens won't scratch all the dirt out. Well, hello there, chicken. Yeah, I'll leave the gate open. They just come and go. It's the end of the day, and it's time for me to go check for eggs everywhere. I don't think anybody else is going to lay today. All right, let's check the Easter egg or pen. Whoop, we got one. Uh, doesn't look like there's any others down in there. Let me just look to be sure. Nope. Alrighty, thank you, ladies. Ooh, still warm. Let's look back here. Ooh, jackpot. One, two, six. Oh my gosh, six laid back in here. Oh my gosh. One of them, I thought I blocked this off. This is in the van underneath here. Um, that looks like that is a, I don't know, it could be a white egg. See, right there, hey chicken, hey chicken. All right, I'm gonna go grab it. Goodness, what is up chicken? Nope, that's a green one. So, we'll put them in here with the rest of them. Look at all those pretty eggs. Ooh, I gotta go check this coop over here. Remember? Oh, I almost forgot about that. Oh, it looks like we got one here. Somebody laid in here today. Oh my gosh, we got so many eggs. All right, I think that's all in here. Nine eggs so far in one day. All right, I'm gonna go back and check where mama was laying and see if she laid me any more. If not, I think I'll just go ahead and collect those. Nope, just the two. I'm gonna grab them. Hopefully she'll remember this is where she's been laying. She can lay wherever she wants, but look how big those eggs are. Oh my goodness. 11 eggs, guys. Now, I think one of them, one of, oh, well, of course, one of the white eggs was laid on another day, but that's pretty nice, seeing as how it's the winter time, you know what I mean? It's been a great day. Yeah, I got a few things done. Most of the stuff that I did, I didn't even show you. It was just picking up trash and trying to straighten things out, make things look a little bit better. It still needs so much work, but it'll get there. I did some dishes, um, and I'm just sitting on my porch. The chickens are still milling about. Um, it was really windy earlier, and it blew the uh, van door shut. So there was like five hens stuck in the van for hours and hours. I don't know, probably three or four hours. I let them out and they all just came and got a drink of water and I gave them some food because they didn't have that foraging time in. But uh, they're all just kind of meandering around right now and I just love my chickens. I love watching them. Anyhow, um, I didn't cook anything yet with the canned meat. I just, I want to make something special. You know what? Somebody mentioned down in the comments um, that they saw... Uh, chicken and dumplings in my future. 
I think I think that's what I'm gonna do first with the chicken is chicken and dumplings. I would love to have some chicken and dumplings, and I've got everything I need to make it. So, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Maybe I'll show that to you tomorrow. I mean, you guys know how to make chicken and dumplings, but um, this is special chicken and dumplings. Anyhow, I'm getting congested. <sighs> Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. You can now join me on Rumble, where I talk about current events, politics, and other thoughts on weighty subjects. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.